Yo, what's going on guys? Bran absolutely breaks the top lane because he outranges everybody in that lane, which you might be able to say, well, every AD carry does that for the most part as well. The difference is Bran's first item rush gives him max health damage and HP, so you can't be dove by two people effectively, and you can even shred tank. If you're up against like a Darius Mordecai, they're very meta ch style champions, you dominate them. Level one, you're extremely oppressive with 550 base auto range, the same as the standard AD carry. Teemo only has 500 in comparison. Uh, Quinn's like 500 or 525 and obviously Vayne would be 550 but your abilities will outrange them especially on your W and your Q. For your runes you want to have Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Transcendent Scorch, Biscuits Cosmic with double EP and health. The D-Ring, Mana Flow, Biscuits will keep us high mana plus whenever we kill something that's on fire we get mana from Mana Flow. Against Slippery level 1 champions you want to start E that way they don't slip out of your ability. Against slower Moving champions who are just slow, level 1, you can start with W because it's more damage technically and slightly cheaper. So we'll go ahead and start with W against Choder. First item rush is Leandre's into tier 2 boots, into Rhylize, then we can pick up Malignants. Again with an auto, he stands still, we hit him with W, again with another auto. The rule of thumb is, don't auto the enemy champion if you're going to miss a minion to do it. So hitting him with one auto to miss a minion is not worth it the best way to put it so if you find yourself autoing them four times and missing four minions yeah i wouldn't do that so what he needs to do is he needs to keep his health up and wait for a gank take what minions he can without taking too much damage that's his primary goal right now my goal is to apply maximum damage while not missing cs and i can apply damage because i outrange him get the lb auto we cast it we already have a cursor hovered right when he goes into last hit All right, we're gonna miss some of this. <sighs> got it. Barely got in my auto. You could couldn't even really see it. I think Cho'Gath's possibly over here. Mm, this is bad. How does the Ivern have zero camps? I just don't understand. We're almost three minutes in. He must have tried to invade. It just didn't turn out well for him. Go ahead and pick up our Q here. For the stun. Oop. Don't want to miss it. Auto E. I know he wants that cannon. He's going to die for it though. I'm going to ghost past it. Got on a biscuit and a potion here. Again with the Q. Auto. Yeah, he greeted hard there. I had a strange assortment of ability usage. I just kind of used what I could when I could. But uh, it panned out all right. I'd go so I could kite him out. He didn't want to flash away. I still had my flash. Now that we have a gold advantage, we can play even more aggressive. First item back, I do like to pick up boots if possible. And then start building into my Leandries. I find tier, especially if you're ahead, can feel pretty good. Tier is a highly defensive item. Uh, and scaling item as well. You go into your Archangel, Archangel ridiculous scaling probably the best scaling of any ap item pound for pound for the gold cost once it's full stacked it gives you a fat shield when you drop below a third health the shield in the late game is somewhere around like 800 it's pretty big and then of course loads of stats on it as well so i don't want to miss that we can spread with our e if something's already on fire our e spreads crazy far We've got him with our q there Oh, that was a good hit by him. I got down by W though into a Q. E auto. I'm on a biscuit here. Auto him down. Nice, 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 nice. Get with the Q. So yeah, our E spreads much farther. Our W does more damage if something's on fire, and our E and our Q stuns, of course. Like, everyone knows that one. And your R slows. Auto Q auto. Go ahead and get another point. W C Nocturne is bot side. So here, for example, if we want a full spread, we would actually start in with Q, then E to maximize our overall kind of wave clear there. Got it. Into a Q, into an E. I didn't even take a turret shot for it. I was gonna go that way. This guy's full of tricks. I'll be sick soon. 
Oh, wow. This is kind of bad. Got with the stun. At the flash that or I die. Now well, we wasted Nocturne's time at least. They did get my flash though. Kind of want to splash this onto his head. Got it. Could get him with an R. Bounce it to him off the minion. He slowed from the R. I want the cannon still. Almost got Cho'Gath. We got his flash there. Nocturne's wasting time. We're in a really good spot. Taking full control of this lane. I'm going to spread that to him. He's already on fire. So our E's got some crazy distance. I'm on a biscuit. I have minions as well. We'll go ahead and get down a W auto Q. The Q missed. I think... Wait, why Why am I the one tanking? <laughs> Ivern hit him with so many autos. Ivern must have barely been out of the turret range by a centimeter. All right, let's see. Big bull, nothing. All right, let's go for more Leandris. You can go for tier two boots, but I think Leandri Leandris is pretty important here for shredding Cho'Gath. He doesn't even have boots yet. You'll find that Brand's even better if you're going to duel with your jungler. Because you're kind of off meta and you can play as aggressive as you want. With high value. Like It's not just, oh, play aggressive and lose. And you can play aggressive and step on their head. The enemy jungler will camp you. So if you're a duel with your jungler, they come and you win the fights 2v2 pretty consistently. I'm solo queue here though. So every time Cybern comes, it's just, we got lucky. Run this guy down. Get with the queue. Oh, uh, all right. I'll dodge it. Get him with a Q. Auto E. He's taking a lot of damage from that one. Got it. He's kind of backing off into a weird area. Got most of the minis with that. Nice and nice. Nocturne 6, I will actually die. I think I have to have the back. I really want this plate though. Doubt this is warded. We can get out a QE. Or he's so close, I can't. We'll just do it like this, EWR. Auto in a Q, down he goes. If they're really close to you, you don't really have time to let. Man, I really want this plate. Just one auto, come on baby. Yeah, if they're too close to your Q travel time, it will get there too soon. To where if you Q then E, it'll just hit and then you won't get your stun. But if he's a little bit farther away towards the end of my E range, we can Q E and get the stun. Let's go for Blasting Lawn. We'll head back to lane. Only thing that shuts down Brand is enemy jungler camping you. Your flash ghost is typically enough to deter that top lane mid are harder to gank this season as well because these fat walls they added. All you have to do is keep this pixel brush warded. Really hard for most junglers to touch it. E max seconds good. Q max seconds good. It's a good argument for both. I think I'd rather have Q though. Especially against a melee champ for the stun spam. We'll spread with E. Ooh, that was a good knockup. Got it. He's gonna stand still to auto. We get him with W. Auto E. I think Nocturne. Okay, Nocturne's bot. This guy's crazy for stepping up on me like that. The only thing keeping him alive is me not really knowing where his teammate is. His teammate being. Lurking over my shoulder. Almost. I couldn't get. I didn't want to take a turret shot for it. Could just bounce R on his head here. I'd rather have surprise damage. Spread E. Uh, got it. W is pretty expensive mana wise. There's a stun. Cycling some autos as well. 
Oh, he actually got it. We're going to RQW. Move in another auto as he turns. Spread with the E. He just doesn't have the stats to be fighting us. He wants to do something because he knows if he tries to farm, I'll keep brutalizing him. He needs his jungler. He can't step up and try to fight us like that. We'll go ahead and take a plate. We'll back off. We could actually solo the grubs. Brand's exceptional at it. He does 215% bonus damage against monsters on his burn. Doing these. Okay, cool. <laughs> now we want to get a passive on them all. Yes, sir. And our passive's doing a lot of work here. There's only so much I can do with Choder here. Oh, Cho'Gath flash. I should have expected that. I had my own flash. That was a shutdown. He got 750 gold. Almost three kills worth of gold from me dying there. So he's effectively uh, three and four right now. He's pretty much all caught up besides the CS score. He's all caught up. Could go look. We could look for tier twos. Swifties are fine. I would rather uh, not though. I'd rather have Sork Shoes. More penetration. Our team's kind of magic damage heavy. We'll have to get a Void Staff as well this game. It's fine for Bran. You, only, you don't even need a mana item, but if you do want one, you only need one. You don't usually run out of mana. Your farming gives you mana back when you kill something that's on fire. So there, we're, all, we're, all, we're full mana. We just burned a bunch. Use two abilities. Nice. Two people dead bot. Don't know where their mid jungle is. Makes me a little nervous. Grubs are down, so we probably won't come through river area. Oriana might, though. I want to spread to him. There we go. Give him some more damage. The beautiful. It's all pushed. Yeah, it's hard still no boots. Versus a ranged character, that is a tough order to fill. We'll just keep him pushed in. He's low enough, he can't really help Nocturne, even Nocturne does decide to gank for him. Stay nice and close, get our autos here sooner, it makes it easier to last hit. Our Q also has a travel time as well, so. When Cho'Gath comes back with full health, I gotta be a little careful, I don't know where Nocturne is. <laughs> I have to wait till Nocturne R actually hits me before I flash away. His R attaches to you while he's in midair, so. No matter what you do, you kind of just heat sinking missiles onto you. I think if you teleport though, I don't think it'll chase you across the map. Maybe back in the old days of League. 14 minute mark, there's no longer plates. We'll break this a little bit quicker. Yeah, he knows. Get him with an EQ. Got with the W. Don't know where Nocturne's at, though. I'm not going to chase this. It's time to group. <clears throat> Brand lacks mobility besides our summoner spells, so. If you try to split push, they send a bunch of people to kill you. So that's when it's nice to be dual with your junglers to where even if they send a bunch of people, you can win it. I want Scuttle Crab. Down goes Cho'Gath. Must be BI's bot side. We can see his juice over there. Alright, they lose mid turret. None of them are interacting with us a whole lot. Get extra damage on our autos if we're in bush in the last couple of seconds. QEW. Might as well push since we're already here. They already have someone bought. Plus I'm ahead. I 
figured he might turn because they got Oriana coming. I don't believe they have vision, so they're likely to come over here for red buff or whatever. Oh, red buff's not up. Never mind. There's nothing to make these turns while I come over here. I'm going to go ahead and push wave. It's a good chance they go for dragon. That's still up. Doubt Cho'Gath's going to come back. Nice. Yep, they took Dragon. I'm okay with that. Although we should be grouping. We didn't have enough information at the time and our bot lane's dying. We can't take any huge risks. We don't even have Bounty Gold anymore. They're just as fed as we are. With half our kills on the scoreboard. That's why scoreboard doesn't matter that much. We queued first, hit him with E. He didn't have much time to react to the stun coming out. Lucian's on his way. Lucian's a full item. If he flanks me, I'm okay. I'm glad he went there. If he went to her for a true flank, I would have been in trouble. So I waited in bush to give myself a surprise factor. This Nocturne's not coming for that. I figured he would. He's being patient. Skadoosh, got it. We're at 135 CS, 17 minutes. It's okay. I'm not having TP. I'm okay with that. Oh, this is warded. It's not, that's not, uh, we can't allow that. So Nocturne's gonna find a free R. From here, we're gonna get Rylai's. You might wanna go tier second, like tier full second item, Seraphs. Or Archangel, which turns into Seraphs, but it's not quite worth. I just can't afford what I actually want. I'll go Lucid's, we'll play for Void Staff. If I had 800 gold for sort shoes, I would have done it. I don't feel like selling my Doran ring right now. We can comfortably get this tier item and hold on a Doran ring for a little bit. Pick up blue buff. What staff should be sufficient? They're gonna stack a lot of magic resist. We'll have our percent base shred. He hasn't been able to get any heart still. That's a big issue with Cho'Gath. He's so overly heart still reliant that. Uh, he doesn't have any good answers against a ranged character who can perma kite him. Get him with the stun, get him with the E. I mean, I'm so much faster than this guy. And all he can do is press forward because I have Rylai's. If he can't run, I'm on Ghost and with Rylai's slow. The best thing he can do is run at us like a, like a machine, like the Terminator. We're tier 2 boots, so we're faster in that respect as well. I can stay to push. Everyone's far away from me. Oriana's faster than I am, so if I run over there, she can just run away. There's no point. I'll look to absorb more, some more resources. Brand is pretty efficient at taking this type of stuff. It's our passive. And we spread. Nice. Here's Choder. Hmm. Eyes right, bot. Makes me feel a little bit better. I don't want to have to deal with the Nocturne R. It's a full item. Chogath could potentially kill me if he lands a Rock Q. Heart still damage will spread with E. Minion gets in the way. Got the stun. He's taking a little more damage than I am. Ooh, there's the passive. He slowed, so we land Q. <clears throat> he's gonna have to back off. Looks like he's gotten one heart still so far. <clears throat> it's not too much. Help ourselves to this red buff. That is five red buffs for our team, because junglers finish their jungle line before a 20 minute mark yeah it's five reds 
And he might try to get me here. We're going with an R. Got him with a stun. <clears throat> Jebaited. Even without Ivan there, we might actually win that, especially if I burn flash. We'll stick on the split here. We don't need to group if we're already finding value elsewhere. We're slow champions, so every time we move and we're not doing anything, because we're just traveling. Something you have to think about. I, I do want to group, though. I don't want to sit on the split. Splitting is typically the wrong answer on him. Oh, we got to sell D-Ring. For Fiendish. Fiendish is pretty freaking good. Much better than Dorn Ring on its own. They trade off one for one. I'm okay with that. I haven't seen too much out of my bot lane at this point. With Samira dead, we lack... We lack physical damage, so maybe that's not good. <laughs> not too much magic resist on these guys yet. Now here's the rush. That's a good hook. We'll get him with an auto, a W as he autos, a Q as he lines up with wall. You don't have to immediately use your abilities. You can wait a half a second, a quarter of a second. Whatever makes sense for actually landing it. Walk him down with R and red buff autos. Get him with the Q auto. Down to Goose. On Goose, we can close that distance. Get our Q there a bit sooner. Jeez, let me get to that. Got it with the Q. The best counter to Brand is just rushing Kanik. That's how you counter him top. You rush Kanik, his damage output's not going to be very good. That alone doesn't necessarily mean you're going to kill him, though. That just means Brand's probably not going to be able to kill you. Nice. Samir kills Cho'Gath. It's all magic resist. You'd expect her to. Two full items versus one full item plus tier twos. Scuttle crab with the jukes over here. He's juking my Qs more than, these, than this enemy team is. Go ahead and pick up our Seraphs now, and I'd say we go for Void Staff and the Rabadon. You don't normally go for Dark Cell and Bran. Makes the enemies camp you even harder. He scales well enough without having to have a mesh. His AP scalings are moderate. They're nothing crazy like an Evelyn's. Rabadon, although it is one of his best items, it's by no means 100% necessary. You can always go for something more utility based like a Morello if they have things like Warwick. Their self healing their healing's not that crazy though. It's just a little bit of Nocturne self healing. That's pretty much it. Unless Lucian starts getting huge amounts of uh life still. Can Ivern solo Baron? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe if he's AD Ivern and Daisy's tanking it. Daisy's tanking quite a bit though. Three hundred gold apiece, plus empowered minions. Don't mind if I do. My ghost is on cooldown. I have flash and everything else. No wards here. We have a control ward. I'll just wait. Not in a rush. I got two teammates in my base. They got their whole team with base speed up near their base. So we wait. All right, Ori. Got him with the slow. Can run away from that. Yep. Got him with the stun. R. Got him slowed. Got him with the stun. W. I'll ghost away from that. Get with an E auto. Nice, nice, nice. I know I didn't have to flash there. So he's not crazy fed or anything. He's kind of behind to where even if he hits me with four or five autos, it won't matter. Oh, I wanted to flash for her so bad. Lucian being there. Nice. She's dead. Flash Q. He's slowed. I'll get the assist. And that's game, man. Brand top. He's so freaking oppressive. You can push wave on like a vein top. You can freeze wave on like a Triss top. You have uh, really cheap, affordable magic damage items. You can shred tanks and get tanky off your first item purchase. That's what makes Leandre so much better than Bork. If Bork gave health and max health damage, it'd be nuts in the butts. First item rush every time top. So I got the graphs and runes.
Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Not bad for damage taken. Eh, middle-ish. For self-mitigated, low middle-ish. And for runes, high value. All in all, brand top is a whole lot of fun. As long as you know how to position, you can get a lot done on this character. If you enjoyed this brand video, let me know what champion you guys want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.